the coming here. So what has become? What has it created? Features mean both of them by aspects as well. So refuses have become a major problem because of globalization. One aspect. Alright? Later on, I think uh, we'll be talking about uh, Syrian refuses as well because regarding that I presented paper long ago, some you know, two, three months ago. So, so there has become a stream, sorry, this uh, entry of terrorism, and terrorism has become a global threat. Terrorism has become a global threat. If you form intelligence, they form counterintelligence. Right? You all know that it is not only the military forces that contribute to warfare and strategies in all. Even the US applied uh, in Afghanistan and Iraq, you know, private intelligence and as in chief and private warfare consultants. So what are they? All these are the results of globalization. So there has become a you know, this spread of terrorism. That must I need to say more about regarding this. Spread of knowledge and skills and the participation of explosion. Spread of knowledge. English as language. You talk about Indonesia. You talk about American law, American war, independence. You talk about human rights issues. You talk about you know, the Chinese culture and all. And you talk about uh, how combined you know, these military practices can be performed. Why? Because of the spread of knowledge. Of course, there are top secrets that people say these are military secrets, but there are many hackers. Let me give you an example of 2010, you all have heard WikiLeaks. Right? WikiLeaks event, we are not allowed to talk more about it. What is it? That is the spread of knowledge. And with the spread of knowledge, implementation of knowledge will be the development of skills. And with that development of skills, there will be anti-development as well. For example, let us see. Right? With technology and all, with the globalization all, you came to know that the price of petrol has decreased there in India. You know, if Nepal government increases the price of, price of petroleum, what would be? It would be aired through various media. And people come down on the street, down to the street and then protest. <coughs> what is it? Explosion, participation explosion. Just like certain group of population is known as population explosion. Similarly, certain groups of participants in the street because this and this man said this and this on television. It is against our national sovereignty. It is against our border city alliance, something, something like that. You know, city have a border. He said this and that. This is against us. And if there is some kind of puny by certain political parties, people come down to the street. So what is it? This is all a nature of globalization. In UK, this kind of agitation went on when they talked about you know, against nationality. In France, when there was French Revolution in 1789, I suppose. French Revolution. Alright? And which what it was beheaded. They wanted to know freedom, fraternity, human rights. So why should we remain, you know, this uh, keeping the monarchy in our head so people came out? What is it? Participation explosion. So this participation explosion is the result of this participation explosion is the result of knowledge, skills contributed by globalization. Right? Is that clear? Yes, All right. Have fun. Okay. What? Oh, mm. let's think. Number two, the spread of knowledge and participation. Though the lower spread of capitalism. All right. 
but I know I can destroy it. Mm -hmm. That is a question. Yes. Capitalism. The global spread of capitalism and emergence of global markets. This is a point to understand. This is the point to understand. So far as Nepal is concerned, let me bring the idea of Nepal as well. So far as Nepal is concerned, we already knew around 30 years ago, or even more than that, that uh, dismantling of Soviet Russia, USSR and all, when there was uh, bipolar countries, uh, powerful countries, on the one hand, Russian blocks, USSR blocks, on the other hand, America, and after the dismantling of Russia into various segments and all, <coughs> that came out to be unipolar world. And in that unipolar world, still that is a limited dream, okay? We can discuss a lot, you know. So what happened? America spread its hegemony, market policy and others, and other, you know, people also, other states also immersed. People have thought now America would be all about with all marketing and all, but things do not always go and respect it. They came out to be emerging power China, India. Why? Because they could change their foreign policy or business policy according to the changing scenario of time. We knew it, but we still went on the same traditional way. After 1990s, after 1990s, people thought, no, there should be liberal market policy and capitalism was given right. Right? Some people may, you know, this project. Uh, and <coughs> what happened? Regarding Nepal, we did not have sufficient exercise, sufficient knowledge to meet the global market. There could be various reasons. People would easily say being an adult country is one reason. Others would say we have not exercised democracy before, so we could not form a stable government because of which economic development could not take place and we could not go in the same place in the globe. You know? So globalization and global market was not a restricted part, you know, or was not a that used for the part to a great extent, except for a few. You know, examples. Anyway, let me get to the other matter. The global spread of capitalism and the emergence of global markets. As I told you right in the beginning, when there is globalization, I give you the example of WTO, you know, convention and all, there is the free market system. Right? Liberal economic system. And due to liberal economic system, many nations invited foreign investment. Right? Many nations invited foreign investment and with the foreign investment, the countries developed. You know, we also wanted to invite foreign investment, but there are other reasons. Sometimes they say, no, this is the crucial aspect of our issue. Security. Very true. Because we have seen the example of uh, colonization in India. How come British is there to India? As traders. They came as traders and turned out to be traitors. Right? So there was fear. There were pro globalizers and anti globalizers. So the global spread of capitalism and involvement of global markets opened the door. I don't need to explain more, I suppose. The 
parallelization of public functions. Okay? Next one is the parallelization of public functions. In the lab also, many public industries were privatized or industries having more share of government were privatized. You have enough if you have a school system, or you have a school. Now what do you speak? Okay. Very good. Next. Very good. Next. Very good. Next. No, no, no. That was always a problem. You know why I'm asking you this question? Thank you. Could be. I don't know that that is. I just wanted to initiate another. Get initiate. Ideas from you regarding the industry that is near my house. What could be? I see that is very likely. Come on. What the poor is that? Well, the issue of privatization is. The issue of not only the political agenda but also economic agenda or economics to be able to say so. As a political analyst, I think there are good and bad aspects, and it is not a new trend. It is not a new trend in Nepal only. What they do is with certain plans and policies with certain inspection and with certain reservations, these privatizations take place in other countries as well. Not only the minor things, but even serious 